Lobby Tools, Florida's legislative intelligence company. Subscribe today to Florida's leading policy, budget, and campaign tracking service. Request a free trial today at LobbyTools.com. 41-year-old Antoine Brown bowed his head as he waited for his first appearance before a judge. Good morning, everyone. Prosecutors told the court the proof of guilt was great. Numerous witnesses. He was found on the scene with, with blood, with a knife. The judge agreed. Mr. Brown, the court has grave concerns for the safety of our community, and the court is going to be holding you no bond. Minutes before the stabbings, the assailant called his pastor asking for a prayer and forgiveness for what he was about to do. I was scared, and I ran. But co-worker Scotty Washington, who only heard the commotion, says the violence surprised him. He's a good guy. You know, he was in training to be a pastor. Um, so I just don't know what happened. Brown lived here in the Dwellings, a second chance community in a 220 square foot tiny house paying $600 a month for room and board. Many clients out here didn't know uh, Mr. Brown. Monique Ellsworth is the CEO of Connecting Everyone with Second Chances. We sit down and we try and really understand what are the needs of the person that are staying here? What, what goals do they have and aspirations related to housing or community building? There's a lot of fear on the property about what the rest of Tallahassee is going to think about people living out here. Brown is being represented by a public defender. Reporting from the state capitol, I'm Mike Vasilinda.